bikes lined up and uh, trying to sell some toys today. Everything's yellow stickered, so it's uh, serious discounts. Oh, 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 do I need it? Oh, a new CB650 Cafe. Ay, ay, ay. $66.99. God, I hate coming to this place sometimes. Okay, well, happy Saturday morning to you all. It is uh, Saturday, February the 8th, and I'm going to get out for a little bit of fun today. I've been working so much, I haven't had much time off, but I decided today was going to be a, a goof-off day. Good timing, too. Uh, I'm headed over to the motorcycle shop over there to uh, Wild West. They're having a customer appreciation day, VIP day, uh, food, giveaways, all kinds of stuff like that. So I thought, yeah, why not? Sounds like fun. I haven't been vlogging or posting, uh, editing, doing anything in quite a while now because my workload has been crazy. The, the end of the year is always my busy season because people are trying to get projects done and off the books and on the previous year's uh, accounting. So uh, it all stacks up and starting about the beginning of November is when it gets crazy for me. And uh, it continues on through the end of January, about mid-February, which is kind of right where we are now. Uh, I still have some bigger projects in queue that are uh, you know underway but they're slowing down now so that gives me a little more personal time this last quarter has been good to me so I cannot complain I'm always uh, grateful and thankful for the work so anyway uh, plans 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 today I'm going to go car shopping uh, I've been looking around for a while uh, and what I'm probably going to get is the 2020 uh, Honda Accord Touring 2.0 and uh, I will try to find it uh, preferred color is white you know, the ivory metallic whatever it is ivory pearl uh, with black leather interior uh, Several of the dealers around here have it, but it's always with the ivory interior, and I don't want white interior. Uh, white leather tends to get dirty and show scuffs and damage, and it just kind of degrades rather quickly, so I will avoid that. Uh, they also have a gray leather, but for some odd reason, the gray leather is only available in the blue, uh, obsidian blue metallic uh, outside color. So. Oh, that's odd. I would really like to get the white with the gray leather, but I don't think that's going to be an option for me. The other car that I've been considering for quite a while since it came out uh, is the BMW M2 Competition. Uh, I would really like to get that for me, but that's one of those extravagant uh, <laughs> kind of over-the-top purchases, and it would just be for me, so it makes me feel guilty. My wife can't drive a standard. Um, she's not really into going fast or anything like that, so it would really just be me. Uh, my son is still a new-ish driver, and he's a boy and young and impetulant, so uh, I don't want him out there hot rodding around in a 400-plus horsepower car and getting tickets and driving my insurance up the, uh, to be unpayable, you know, unaffordable. So. I'll do the mature, adult, responsible thing and get a car that everybody can drive. The Accord 2.0 uh, is still pretty spunky. 260, 270 some horsepower and uh, uh, right at 300 pound feet of torque. And with a Honda Stage 2, uh, tuner and even just you know minor intake or exhaust mods you know front pipe down pipe things like that uh, it can push 
almost 400 pound-feet of torque at uh, 310 and some horsepower. That's just nuts for a family car. That is bonkers. So that should still be quite a hoot. I'll let it get out of break-in before I do anything crazy to it. Uh, get probably somewhere between four and 6,000 miles on it before I start tuning and tweaking. So on my way back from the motorcycle shop, uh, I'll stop at the car dealer right over here. Uh, it's just right up here on this corner and uh, see what they've got in the way of 2.0 tourings. I doubt that they've got the color that I'm interested in, but we'll see. I wouldn't mind that obsidian blue. It's nice. Uh, it's a real dark candy metallic blue. Looks pretty good. I just don't know how it's going to wear over time. Uh, scratches and dirt and, you know, just normal wear and tear items. White usually holds up to that really well. Black, not so well. Shows scratches and dirt real easy. I like silver, but silver is one of those uh, invisible colors. Uh, in traffic, you tend to blend in and so many years of riding bikes, I don't like to blend in. Put it back and forth. Several viewers, uh, I'm assuming they're from the uh, European markets. Uh, I'm going to pause that whole thought. What a cool car. Check out this DeSoto. Oops. <laughs> This was sitting on your rear bumper. No worries. Nice car. Okay, so cool car. Where was I? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't remember. Totally lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, fourth gear. Um, in the European markets, you can click this thing to shift around again. It's got a uh, cyclical uh, shifter on it, but we don't get that here. You have to go uh, all the way back down to the bottom of the stack. You can't circle around. So they keep telling me, don't downshift. You're supposed to uh, just shift from fourth to first. Yeah, no, that's nonsense. Maybe in the European markets uh, with that cyclical shifter, it might be feasible. But here with traffic being as aggressive as it is, uh, you need to stay in the right gear all the time. Uh, give yourself the most acceleration potential that you can possibly get because, uh, you know, traffic flow, speeding up, slowing down, all that. Uh, you need to be able to get on it and get out of the way because the drivers here are really, really aggressive. And if you don't speed up right now, they're going to be tailgating you, running you over or something. So it's an overcast day today, but overall the weather's pretty nice. Uh, temperatures are in the mid 50s, 54, 56, somewhere in that range. And uh, we've got a light chance of rain today, but not, uh, not anything major, I think 15% all day long. All kinds of toys sitting out. Got a bike show going on and everything. Look at that.
<laughs> you can't hear me. All right, well, I guess we'll park up here. This looks as good as any. Oh, I'll put mine over here in the middle of the crowd. Fold my mirrors in and split lanes here. It's a very nice bike. I'm going to have to probably cut most of this video because can't have the songs going in the background or YouTube strikes me for that nonsense. Anyway, uh, I'll try to walk around and get some footage. I don't know if I can use any of the audio because of the uh, music, but we'll see. So, wish me luck. So they're having raffles and uh, contests and all kinds of stuff out here today. <laughs> $25.99 for a new Grom. Gotta love it. This place is so dangerous. They said it was a clutch lever, but it was really a brick. Oh, okay. What's going on, buddy? So they got all the bikes lined up and uh, trying to sell some toys today. Everything's yellow stickered, so it's uh, serious discounts. Oh, 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 do I need it? Oh! <laughs> A new CB650 Cafe. Ay, ay, ay. $66.99. God, I hate coming to this place sometimes. $59.99, $29.99. Uh, I'm gonna have to make a run around the whole showroom here. New CB300Rs, $29.99. 2300 off of a new CBR 600. I want another Super Sport. Oh, what kind of goodies do they have here? Everything is yellow stickered today. Oh, that's a good deal on an XT250. These are always a little pricey and people shy away from them because, you know, it's just a very basic low horsepower, air cooled motor. Uh, and you know, at fifty-one ninety-nine, you can get a lot of bike for fifty-one ninety-nine. But they're dead reliable. I really like mine. Uh, and forty-two ninety-nine. Now that's a good deal. All right, CB five hundred X fifty-nine ninety-nine. That's pretty good. They had a black one of these uh, in here that just sold last weekend for thirty-nine ninety-nine. I, wow, thirty-nine ninety-nine for the rally. It was brand new. I was considering it, but it's a little tall for me to ride all the time. I'd have to drop the suspension. What else? Ooh, that's a good deal on that cafe. 3200 off. W800 for $65.99. That's not bad either. Hmm. I need to resist the temptation. I'm buying a car today. Well, probably buying a car today. Hey there, how are you? Good. Big hug. Are you doing a Facebook Live? No, I'm oh. just uh, just recording for posting later. <laughs> She's great. MT07, that's uh, not a bad deal. I'm not really a fan of the red wheels. Z650, that's a pretty good deal. They can't get rid of this thing. It's been sitting here a while. 300F for $29.99. Great deal. Great bike. But I'd rather have one of these. Or that 650 over there. Hmm. Uh-oh. Got the uh, X-Max 300 here. 600 off. That's not too bad. I was considering getting one of these uh, when they first came out, but I had too many other toys and purchases going on. If I got this, I would probably get rid of my uh, PCX 150s. Uh, don't ride the PCXs as much anymore as I thought I would. Uh, 
just because the highway duty is pretty limited on them at only 63-ish miles an hour. But this, I uh, think top speed's 90 plus on it, so you can easily keep up with Houston frantic traffic. Hmm. What else do we have? Looking at the wrong sides now. The stickers are spun the other way. The new red and white monkey. $29.99 for a 19 Grom. $24.99 for a 19 Z125. That's a good deal. Still like the Grom that they just rolled out for $25.99. 19 AT for $3,600 off MSRP. And that is the clutched, yeah. $9.99, $94.99, that's the DCT from two years ago. Three years ago now. Oh boy. I don't see any uh, yellow stickers on the BMWs. <laughs> they don't yellow sticker those much. Let's see, there's one over there with a sticker. New F850. A little too tall for me. Let's see if I can maneuver in here. Well, 2400 off. GSA, way too big for me. Although this one actually fits me. Uh, it's got the low seat on it. Uh, I was considering getting this, but you know, 23K, 22, 23, it's pretty spendy. What do we got? Uh, 22, four, or 22, two, four. So yeah, it's a little spendy, but with the low seat on this, uh, I don't think it has the low suspension. It's just the low seat, but uh, this one actually fits me pretty well. And I've only got a 30 inch inseam. Okay, back around to the front. Oh, hey, we got some with uh, stickers here. Hey, why are you sitting on my bike, man? Sorry. Why are you sitting on my bike? Sorry. <laughs> okay, so what do we got? Yeah, 2200 off of that one, it's so not too bad. G310. G310, another G310, and a G310. Man, the price is just now kicking into my head. That's that's actually not bad. 4K for these, it's 2200 off. Wow. I thought about getting one of these to replace my XT. That's not a bad deal. Hmm, more decisions for today. Ten nine for the 790 Adventure. Uh, if I remember right, just before Christmas they had this thing for ninety nine ninety nine thousand less than that. It's twenty seven hundred off. I could be mistaken, but I think it was. Hmm. Okay then, I made the rounds. It's time to start slobbering over some bikes, especially this one. Oh, man, that thing talks to me. I like the look of that bike. It's not a super sport, but uh, still got an inline four. Ho, 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 ho. I really like that. I'm usually not a fan of that burgundy or red, but I do like it on this bike. Mmm. Tail tidy is definitely in order. That's a pretty ugly tail. Okay, off goes the camera, on goes me. All right, everyone should be proud of me. I didn't buy anything today, yet. <laughs> yes. There's several really good deals in there. I'm still stewing on a couple of them, but no. I need to focus on buying my, probably buying a car today, so I'll try to avoid draining my pockets completely. It's 
got himself an off-road warrior there. The exhaust is sounding a little plugged up on that. Very VW-esque. Oh, dude. You know, weave right into traffic. Yeah, he's not paying attention. that other car right into me for evasion. Front bumper hanging off. Yeah, you can tell he's uh, not the best driver in the world. Okay, so here is Honda of Katy turn in here and try not to get run over. Lot sale. Ooh, oh, pilot sale. <laughs> okay, so I got all kinds of toys here. Let's see if I can not get run over. Whoopsie. Are those scratches on the front of that thing already? They are. Oh no, it's the chrome peeling up. That's uncool. Brand new car and the chrome is peeling up off of that uh, sport grill. And that's an accessory piece, too. Huh. Tinted windows, all the goodies. Well, don't really want to park right here. I'm going to get my bike hit by somebody that's not paying attention. Yeah, see, it's this dark chrome, and this one's okay. This one has a problem, ladies and germs. Yeah, that's, that's really bad. It's bubbled up, and that's not a cover over that, like a shipping cover. That's just a bad grill. It's no cool. Looks like their cars need a wash. So this is a sport. What I'm looking for is the touring. Doo -doo -doo. There's a basic LX or something, probably. Nope. I want the Touring because it has all the extra goodies, the uh, you know, entertainment package, electronics, all that stuff. And whenever you sell them later, those higher trim packages always uh, tend to sell better, easier. Okay, so now we're back into Civics. Nope, show me the Accords. Go park my uh, scooter up on their front drive. Everybody can look at a different type of Honda. <laughs> Everyone over at the uh, the shop over there, motorcycle shop, uh, guys on big BMWs and stuff were uh, coming over and talking to me about the Cub. They're like, oh man, I want one of these, but I can't find the blue anymore. <laughs> yeah, seems to be a common theme. The 2020 with that uh, red and beige uh, color scheme just isn't as popular. So where are the rest of the Accords? I know a salesperson's gonna come out here and molest me, but I'll save that for later. I'm gonna bring my wife back over here. We're gonna test drive a couple. I don't wanna get tied up with a salesperson quite yet. That's nice, but it's a sport. You can always tell by the wheels. I want the Touring. Sport, sport, sport. A whole lot of sports. Not very many touring. I wonder why that is. Sport, 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 sport. They have got a metric ton of sports out here and no tourings. What is going on? I always know by the wheels. You can tell by the wheels. The They're like that, but larger diameter. Don't see any touring. Let's 
Civics on that side. This is the blue. This is the obsidian blue, I believe. I like the color. It's nice. But it really does show dirt. I mean, white's going to show dirt even, you know, that much. But that one seems to be hard to keep clean. Now, that's got the black interior. So this one, I think you can get it with black or gray. But it's a sport, of course. Yeah, it's locked up. It's the sport. <laughs> hey! Sport. Sport. What, nobody believes in touring? Come on, man. That is the black interior. Probably shouldn't have left the bike running back there. Yeah. Sport. Haven't seen a single touring here yet. I guess that's what salespeople are for, huh? Well, I'm gonna go home, eat lunch, come back with my wife. We're gonna hit this one and uh, Spring Branch Honda uh, further in toward the Beltway. Probably got the only touring ones sitting in the showroom. Why is the touring so much less popular? The price difference really isn't that drastic. It's only two or three thousand dollars, so. talking about a new car. Oh, well, there it is, right there in the front. I was avoiding coming to the front because of the salespeople, but lucky, lucky. That's touring. Those are the wheels. Oh, sorry. I'll go back down here. I was just going to park right next to the car. <laughs> hey, Pooch. <laughs> that is the touring. You can tell by the wheels. Oh, no, I was wrong, but those are the same wheels on the touring. So this is a sport but the wheels, uh, that's the, the wheel that comes on the touring package that I'm after. And this is the, <laughs> that's got the dark interior too. That's, that's what I want, except touring. Hmm. I need to get their car wash guy out of here, spray these things off. Well, oh, it's locked up. Yeah, that's got the black leather. I like that. Okay. It's all going to be SUVs on this side. I thought about the new Passport. Here's a blue one right there that looks really good. Man, these things are expensive. They're 42, 43. I mean, they're seven. Yeah, about five, anywhere from five to seven thousand dollars more than uh, Accord Touring. I don't think so. That's a bit much. Looks good though. And for some reason, that thing's really quick, uh, much quicker than uh, my 13 Pilot. Uh, they're rating the zero to 60 on that thing in like right around six seconds. It's got the 3.5 V6 in it. And uh, that's pretty spunky, man, for an SUV. Anything sub seven seconds for an SUV is good. Uh, my Pilot has always had a little bit of an acceleration or hesitation issue. Uh, I've had him look at it several times, uh, thinking maybe the throttle position sensor was off or the MAF uh, was off. Something just not quite right with it. But anyway, they've never found a problem. I, I just know that it's not quite right because you can stomp it to the floor sometimes and it almost falls flat. doesn't want to go. Uh, and then after the RPM gets up above 3,000 RPM, it's fine. 
And then other times it doesn't do it at all. It just it takes off like normal. So I don't know. Need to bring our pilot over here and get the oil changed. It's overdue. It's a nice day for riding motorcycles today. It's a little breezy, but temperature is just great. So I'm sitting here mentally chewing on the uh, deals over there at uh, Wild West, deciding if I should go ahead and get the 2020 Cub and just get that out of the way. It needs to happen sooner or later, definitely before, let's say, April, because uh, I need time to prep the bike and get it broken in before it hits the road. Uh, so get the Cub now and just get that out of the way, or get another toy that I'm looking at over there, which I won't say its name yet for fear of making it a necessity <laughs> I'll get the car thing out of the way and then I'll think about the bike next week or the following week just try to pick my battles This neighborhood is uh, becoming quite the uh, traffic problem. Everybody parking their cars in the streets. It's just getting more and more common every month. Empty driveways, I mean, you know, empty driveway. You can put eight cars in some of these driveways. The driveway's empty and they park their cars all over the street. It just creates a traffic problem, it creates a hazard for pedestrians, bicyclists. They don't care. And they get adamant about it. Well, it's my right to park on the street. Uh, actually, no, it's not. That's public. Private is your driveway. Public is the street. Anyway, thanks for tagging along, everybody. I'm going to have lunch. Uh, and ooh, it sounds like a military shopper. What do we got? What do we got? Where is he? Nope, private. It's like a news chopper. And this is their flight path right over my house. Sometimes they're only about 150 feet up. Rattle the windows. Anyway, we're gonna go car shopping.